Hello guys, it is Wednesday 24th of March. Um, this is St Andrew's Thought of the Day and today we're going to be reading from Psalm 128. Um, so before we head in I just wanted to give you a bit of information behind this psalm. So as you might see in your Bible, it has the heading A Song of Ascent. And essentially these psalms with that title were songs that um, Hebrew pilgrims would have um, sang together on their pilgrimages up to Jerusalem. Um, so I thought it might be a good idea to, tonight to um, read this psalm as I walk up Chosen Hill. So bear with me if I get a little bit out of breath. I'm definitely not as fit as I used to be. So let's read it together. Psalm 128. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in obedience to him. You will eat the fruit of your labour, Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Yes, this will be the blessings for the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see your children's children. Peace be on Israel. So I wonder if you have anything that you fear or that you're afraid of, any phobias. I think it's fair to say we all have things we, we fear. Common fears are fear of the unknown, fear of failure, fear of death, fear of humiliation. Um, and the danger is that when we read this passage, we see that first line which says, blessed are those who fear the Lord. The danger is that we read that and misinterpret it as that we need to be afraid of God, that we need to avoid him. But that's not what I think this is saying, what the author intended. I believe that this fear is more of a healthy respect for authority. And as a father myself, um, this is how I understand it. I want my children to listen to what I say and do as I say, be obedient to what I ask them to do and what I ask them not to do. And that's what I think this means. It's fearing the Lord is us um, respecting that God is in authority um, and that he knows what's best for us. And then the next line about walking in obedience with him or walking in his way kind of confirms that, that he knows as our loving father what is best for us, um, our ways, tend to be selfish and his ways tend to be selfless and we see that through the life of Jesus as well um, if we do those things if we fear the Lord if we walk in obedience with him then we see the blessings that will come and the author of this particular psalm um, is using um, the example of a man a married man and the blessings he would receive um, and another danger of this psalm is that we read that and we think actually only only a married man can get blessings from, from the Lord. But actually, I don't believe that's true. We only, just, we only need to go to the first verse, the very first line where it says, blessed are all who fear the Lord. And so this is for everybody. This is not just for married men or family members. This is for anybody who fears the Lord and walks in obedience with him. Um, and what we see is that um, if we do that, if we are faithful, um, we will produce fruit. Um, a pastor called John Tyson, who leads a church called the Church of the City, New York, recently tweeted this. To be a faithful and fruitful disciple of Jesus, that is it. That is the vision. And when I read that, I, thought, I felt like that really resonated with me. That is something I want to be known for, being a faithful and fruitful disciple of Jesus because I think when we do that that's when we receive the blessings that's when our lives um, shine and people can see Jesus through us and that's when God gets glorified it's when more people come to know him and and come into his kingdom and then what we see at the end of the psalm is a prayer so let me just read that prayer again
May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see your children's children. Peace be on Israel. So I thought we could end this thought with a prayer together. Um, praying that we would be fruitful and faithful disciples. Um, and here I am at the top of Chosen Hill and look at that amazing view. For me, that is a picture of the blessings we get when we live a faithful life. We get to the end and we can look back at the journey Jesus has brought us on. And that is a blessing. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you that you are a loving Father that wants to bless your children. So I pray that we would each learn to fear you, to respect you, to surrender to you, to remain in you, and to be obedient to you, Jesus. And then, Jesus, I ask that you would make us fruitful disciples for the world to see. I pray that you would bless us, you would bless our church, and we would just see your spirit and your kingdom come. Amen.